When musical inspiration strikes, you don't have time to set up a bunch of gear just to capture your song idea. So in this video, I'm going to show you how with just a pair of earbuds and my iPhone, I can capture a groove that's going to become a new song here in GarageBand. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. So if you're into tips and tricks and tutorials all about recording, then consider subscribing. But today, I've got an idea in my head and when I capture an idea, what I like to do is grab GarageBand on my iPhone and get it down as quickly as possible. I've got a pretty cool groove going on in my head that I've been playing around on the guitar. So it's time to dive into GarageBand and capture that sucker before it gets away. Okay, we're going to record this one without the cameras and the bells and the whistles. We're just going to tap on Create Document and get a fresh, blank new track here in GarageBand. Now, the first idea I have for this is with my acoustic guitar track. This may become an electric guitar track, but I'm going to come in here to the audio recorder and get started. Now, what I traditionally do is I hit the plus button here, and I like to just give myself a bunch of bars. When I'm just jamming like this, I want to have enough space. So that's the first thing I do there. I'm then going to go in. Now, the, the beat that I've got in my head here, I'm going to tap the tempo button here, and it's this sort of tempo here. Do, do, do. I don't want it to be too fast. Probably want it to be around that 106 mark. Yeah, there we go. So that's gonna be my tempo. Now I've got my guitar here and I'm going to hit record and I'm gonna play just the first guitar idea I have for this groove. So let's hit record now and get ready to play. And there we go, we're gonna stop that one, go back to our track view, and here is our track. It sounds like this. And it's not gonna sound great. It's not gonna be perfectly EQ'd or any of that sort of jazz, of course, right now, but we've got it captured here. We've got eight bars of it, so we're just gonna come back here to the eight bars there. Now, what I'd just like to do is tap on this and loop it, just so that I can play over the top, because I've got an idea for a drum groove and a bass groove to go over the top of this. So let's handle the drums first, because what I wanna do, we'll come in here, we'll add a new track, we'll go to drums, which are down here. And I reckon we'll go acoustic drums. I think we want a percussionist because this is I'm gonna this is based around the clave beat, which is uh, a a beat that sort of does a bit of a duh 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 duh. So I'm gonna grab the Latin percussionist here, and I'm just gonna add this in as a bit of a loop. So let's hit record, and we'll add in this. I probably should have done this first, but that's okay. We'll hit record. Get ready. And you know what? It's a better idea, we'll undo that, to actually keep a metronome on while you're recording percussion especially. Let's hit record and get this groove. All right, a little bit rushed on a few of those, so I'm gonna come in here. We're going to stretch out this track. We're gonna to go to our track view up the top here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, quantization uh, down to a, yeah, probably a 30 second note, just so that it just fixes up a few of those timing issues. Let's uh, play it back. Oh, we were too quick on that second beat, but you know what? It's a repeating rhythm here. So let's just remove that. I reckon the first bar was almost perfect. Yes, it was, but it doesn't need this bit. Tap it, it's not split, not split, edit. Let's come in here, it's this little sucker here. Edit that note out, tap it, delete it, it's gone. Now we should be able to loop this sucker again. And now. Yeah, and we can, we can improve on that, but we just wanna have that there to give us this rhythm. And what I might do is I might even just uh, give ourselves a little bit of a drum pattern here as well. Just the a kick and a snare. So we'll come in here, acoustic, grab the studio kit, and just a something like that. But again, we like to come in here, track settings, velocity sensitivity off, just so that we get a nice uh, groove here that is at the same sort of velocity. Hit record and we'll go. There we go, there's our drum groove in behind there. And make sure it's at the right level here. First four bars, bang, loop it. 
There you go. So now we've got a little bit of a background to jam on here. All right. Now I've got a bit of an idea for a... So this is my bass. Something like that. So let's just play around with some bass grooves now. We'll hit add track. We'll come to our audio recorder. We'll hit the instrument. And then we will hit record and... Does that fit in? I think it's gonna... Uh, this is where I need to be Rick Beato magic uh, theory skills, but let's just play it back and see just these two and see if they work together. No, they really don't, right? So now you can, like, because I've got this. So yeah, we need to do something like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to undo that one. Something like that. Let's try this. And... That's the one I like, so that's the groove that we like. And here you can you can see, see here, that I'm just experimenting with different sounds. So let's try, was it this one? Yeah, that was the, that was the groove that I liked there. So there we go, we'll split that actually. Uh, we'll come here to this bar, we'll tap it, we'll split it. We'll delete out this front section. By the way, for all these editing moves, you're going, how are you doing that? Uh, yeah, check out the editing video, which I'll link up the top there and at the end of this one so that you can learn how to do these quick edits because look how powerful this is, seriously. Where were we when we had a four track recorder? How long would it have taken me to record these four tracks on an old cassette four track recorder? But let's hit play now and see what sort of groove we've built out here. I, I really like that. So what I'm going to do, I, I really don't have any ideas for lyrics at this stage on this song. I don't even know what the song will be about. But let's just come into here. We'll hit add. We'll go to our voice track here. And we'll grab, yep, we'll just use the lead vocals here just for fun. We'll turn monitoring on. We'll hit record. And I'm just going to record a bit of an idea over this. <laughs> And then you, yeah, so we'll turn that off. And then it's going to kick in. So that's sort of like a bit of an intro, a bit of a verse, I, I, I'm feeling. And then it's going to kick into like some sort of chorus. It's going to go like. <laughs> like that. Um, so yeah, again, I just wanted to show the power of GarageBand for capturing your song ideas, capturing a groove in like five minutes, 10 minutes, we've captured this groove and now it is here. We can build this song out and we've got all of the stuff down. It's no longer in my head and it's not just a single recording. We've now got multi-tracks we can start playing with and working with. So I think for one, that is pretty cool. And there you go, all you need is a pair of headphones and your iPhone and you can capture those song ideas. I don't think it sounds half bad already, but now we can take this and record it and fill out the rest of the parts. Thanks again for watching, there's two more videos linked down below. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping in the top right side, and I'll see you on the next video.